Now Tavernier over the halfway line. Here's Solanke bursting through. Left corner of the penalty area. Billing in support. Here's Billing to pull it back. And here's Solanke to score at Craven Cottage again. Early in the half. This time it took a whole minute for Dominic Solanke to stun Craven Cottage into silence. What a start on the road for Gary O'Neill's men. Solanke again against Fulham. Fulham nil. Bournemouth one. Well, that is a goal of the highest quality. From the from left-back position, just outside our area, we've passed our way up the field. Phil Bill chopped the ball back, and Dominic was there to finish it off. Whipped in again by Pereira, and the header is in from Issa Dion. The tallest of the Fulham players didn't really have to get off the ground, I don't think. About five yards out, the cross into the near post from Pereira, and Diop. But it's first Fulham goal, levels at 1-1 with 21 minutes play. As Christie plays it to the right-hand side, and now Solanke, right side of the penalty area for the Cherries here. Solanke trying to take on Ream, he's got support arriving, comes back to the ball, and Jefferson Lerma strokes the Cherries back in front from just inside the penalty area. Fulham will level for six minutes, and Jefferson Lerma doesn't contribute too many goals, but he's already got two for the season. Pull back from Solanke, Lerma with the finish, Fulham one, Bournemouth two. Here comes this Fulham free kick from the left side of the penalty here. Whipped in as a Fulham player down, it's a penalty. Penalty to Fulham, Mitrovic wrestled to the ground. Here comes Mitrovic, starts his run up and finds the bottom right hand corner with a low, crisp penalty. And Mitrovic, who won the penalty, converts it to bring it back to 2-2.